it's Tina here. Welcome back to my nail series. Today I am going to be doing a dip powder on myself. I recently got this kit from Kiara Sky. This is their dip system color kit. I also got their dip powder recycling system and three other dip powder shades. So this will actually be my first time trying this out. I've never done it on myself, but I did get it done once professionally at a salon. And what's unique about this is that you don't need like a UV light. It's pretty much like acrylic and a adhesive for glue system. So apparently it's supposed to be really easy to do on yourself. So I'm going to try this out today. Now I have been watching a lot of their tutorials on their YouTube channel. They have like lots and lots of videos. And so I have spent like the last few days just watching everything. And so I'm just going to be following step by step what they sort of teach in their tutorials. Inside the Kiara Sky Dip Powder Kit, you get six bottles and they're all numbered on the side so you know which one's which. Number one is the Bonda. Number two is the Base. Three is the Seal Protect. Four is the Top Coat. Then we have number five, which is the Nourishing Oil. And lastly, we have the Brush Saver. I do also like that there are four additional brushes in the kit. So if any of those in the bottle get damaged, you can swap it out. For the dip powders, there's Clear, Natural, Prim and Proper, which is a nude shade. This red is called Hot Dan, and this gold glitter is called Superficial. So this is what comes in the dip powder color kit. I wanted to try some other colors, so I did get three additional ones. This purple one is called Wanderlust. Then we have Tropic Like It's Hot, and this shade is called High Maintenance. You can see there's some dip powder that's come out of the jar. Um, an important tip is to use like a paper towel or something because this could get messy, especially knowing me. For my nails today, I'm going to try out um, the nude shade, the clear and the purple wonderlust shade. So this is what my nails are looking like so far. These are my natural nails. They have grown out a little bit and I've already shaped them to make them more of like a softer square-ish shape. I'm going to do the dip powder on my natural nails today, but I have seen um, tutorials where people stick on a tip. So if you want like a longer set of nails, feel free to use stick on tips. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that the kit does come with um, instructions as well. So it teaches you how to do just like a color, a pink and white design, and um, how to use gel polish on dip powder. So first things first, I'm just going to prep my nails. I'm just going to gently push back my cuticles and just make sure my nail beds are nice and clean. Trim off any non-living tissue and give my nails a quick buff. Okay, so once I've prepped my nails and I've buffed them to remove the shine, I'm going to apply step one, which is the bond. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the base, which is a glue to help the powder stick to it. I'm going to apply an even coat to three quarters of my nail and then dip it into the natural powder. I'm holding my finger at a 45 degree angle and then I'm just gonna tap off the excess. I'm going to repeat this with the rest of the four fingers. That's what my hand is looking like so far. Next, I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and just dust off any of that excess powder. This is why you need a paper towel underneath because it gets quite messy. Then I'm gonna grab my color dip powder. This is the nude one, prim and proper. And this time when I apply the glue, I'm going to apply it to my entire nail and then dip it into the color. Oh, that wasn't a good application on my end. I think I applied the base too thin there, so it didn't really grab much of that color. I'm gonna try again. Okay, that is much better. So I'm gonna do two coats of the color on each. This actually fully smells like super glue. <laughs> I feel like with this dip powder system, you have to work fast. You wanna be dipping your finger into the powder immediately after you apply the base. 
And you wanna make sure that the base coat, you're covering the entire nail. So that's two coats of the color on each finger. I'm actually gonna just dust all that off. So far, so good. I feel like maybe some bits I should have got a little bit closer to my cuticle. Um, but yeah, not too bad for my first go. Now I'm ready to pop on a clear coat. So I have my clear powder here and I have their recycling system, which is this sort of like tray container that has two scoops. So this is used for clear, so you don't contaminate the powder in case any of the color gets into the clear. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit like that. I'm going to paint on another coat of the base and then pour the clear on top and then just tap away the excess. Using my brush as well, just brush that off into the tray. And now I can swap the scoops and I'm gonna repeat with the rest of my fingers. So now I'm done with the clear. I actually can kind of see it's already like bulking up my nail beds. They're getting a little bit thicker and thicker. Now it's time to seal everything in with the seal and protect. Basically what this does is just to help seal and set all those layers we've just applied. So I'm going to paint a generous a coat of this on. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a couple minutes to sort of like set. Okay, I think it's set now. I'm just gonna go in with my file and just file the sides down because I did get some product touching my sides there. And I'm just gonna go in with my e-files to just thin out the product around my cuticle. Now, if you don't have an e-file, you can also just use a hand file. I just like my nails to be a little bit thinner, especially around the cuticle and sides. Then I'm just going to buff this. Okay, I'm quite happy with the thickness and shape now. I'm going to apply another generous coat of the Seal and Protect. Then I'm going to go in with top coat. I'm going to paint a thin layer of this on each nail. So I'm gonna let this air dry and then once it's dry, I'm going to apply another additional layer of top coat. Ooh, I noticed my brush is getting a little bit hard now that I'm applying the second coat. I think that's why there's a brush saver and extra brushes. Okay, so now the top coat is dry and this is what it looks like when you do a one color application Actually, it looks pretty good. It's definitely like added some thickness to my nail So they actually feel a lot stronger as well I'm going to start on this hand now and I'm going to do an ombre look on this hand So I'm just going to repeat the same steps I did before I'm going to apply bond first one thing I do notice is the brush. They kind of like have little bits and pieces that stick out, but you can just kind of pull those strays away. So this is just dehydrating the nail bed. And then we can apply a base and start dipping. Oh, that wasn't a very good one, but I am working with my non-dominant hand. So actually for this hand, for my first coat of color, I'm not applying the base all the way to my cuticles yet because I found that on my other hand, there was a lot of filing needed to make that cuticle area a little bit thinner. And so I'm just going to build it up slowly and get it closer to the cuticle on my second application of the color. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what my right hand is looking like. It was a little bit harder to do because um, I am slower um, with my non-dominant hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply seal and protect. By the way, guys, if you're doing this on yourself, um, I would recommend to wear a mask because all these liquids have an odor and it does smell quite strong. At one point, I felt like my eyes were burning a little bit. So wear a mask. I'm gonna let that set and then I'm going to file and buff that and then we can move on to the gradient nails. So once I finish filing my nails, I'm actually going to apply a base coat and I'm going to flash cure that for about 10 seconds. I'm just using my Angel Pro Jelly Base Then I'm going to grab my clear and dip my finger in clear. Then I'm going to dip the tip of my nail into this purple shade, just little by little, kind of like just tapping it in, moving further up into my nail slowly. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Um, I'm going to dust it off just to have a better look at it. Oh. This half turned out well, but this half I feel like I still need a bit more powder there. I'm going to try to patch that little side up, maybe just by patting more color using a brush. Because if I dip my whole finger in, the other side's going to get darker, but then this side's not going to have the same intensity. So I'm just going to attempt to patch this up. It's kind of like doing makeup, doing eyeshadow on my nails now. Okay, okay, I think that's working. But I did accidentally get some color down there, so whoops. I wasn't happy with that, so I decided to wipe it off and try again. I think this time, instead of dipping my finger in, because it's not as long as um, the nail in the Kiara Sky tutorial, I'm actually going to use my fluffy brush and dust the color on. So let's just go in with base coat again. Dip it into the clear. Tap the excess off. I'm just going to grab my brush and kind of like tap this color in. Okay, I feel like that's looking a bit better. I'm just going to dip the tip now, just a little bit. Okay, looking much, much better. I think I'm going to stick with this technique for the rest of my fingers. Oops, I totally like made a boo-boo and spilt my powder. I'm going to seal it in with a gel top coat. Okay, so I'm done with both hands. I'm going to quickly just apply the nourish oil around my cuticles. Okay guys, so this is what my nails are looking like. Let me know which hand you like better. Do you like the nude one or do you prefer the gradient purple? I actually like the gradient purple a lot more because I've used like a gel top coat. So I feel like the, the surface of it feels a lot smoother, a lot shinier. Whereas the other um, side where I just use the dip powder top coat, I don't know, it's like a sort of, it's, it's different. I can kind of feel the texture of the, um, the dip powder underneath. So it's not as like smooth. On camera, you can't really tell though. Overall, I'm quite happy with how my nails turned out. I feel like this is the fastest I've ever done both hands. Um, and I really like that it's add a little bit of um, thickness to my nails. However, I feel like with my, with my right hand, it's extra thick. So I should have filed it down a little bit more, but it doesn't look so bad. I found the powders quite easy to work with and Honestly, the results look pretty good and I don't think you can tell that it was my first time doing this. Though I must say with all the gel bottles and the um, formulas, it is quite fumey. You can really smell it when you're doing it. So like I mentioned before, if you're going to do it, maybe wear a mask. Um, at one point, my eyes were stinging a little bit too. So I'm not too sure if that's normal. It's quite fumey. So if you're very sensitive, um, yeah, make sure you just cover that up. 
In terms of how my nails feel, honestly, they feel really strong. I guess like it feels like I have acrylic on, um, but it's a lot easier to do on yourself than normal acrylic. So if you guys want to like check it out, I'll leave all the links and products I've used um, in the description box below. Also, I'm actually considering going to nail school. So I'll be going back to school. I've been inquiring um, with some nail schools here in Singapore. I really want to just dive into it. It's always been a hobby of mine. So hopefully um, I'll get a spot and enroll and I'll be able to film like more nail videos for you guys. And I guess I'll be able to teach it a lot better but yeah just want to let you guys know that let me know if you guys want to see like vlogs on that as well but yeah that is it to this episode of tina nails it i definitely feel like i nailed today's nails that's a lot of nails in one sentence if you're new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on notifications and i shall speak to you guys next time